Hello everyone, it is a Tuesday afternoon, a beautiful one at that, but we've got a major weather system on the way. In fact, two systems will be combining to bring us some very heavy rain and potential flooding for your Thanksgiving holiday extended weekend. Let's get you caught up on all the latest in this webcast extra because maybe you're doing some travel plans and uh, you will be affected by this weather system moving in. Satellite and radar showing some high clouds rolling through the area. A big ring around the moon this morning and that shows that rainfall is on the way. And man, we've got a lot of it coming. So we've got all eyes on a system that's affecting the west coast of the United States. I talked to my brother in Reno. He said the winds are howling. The temperature is dropping and once again the Sierra Nevada is going to get another tremendous snowstorm out of this system as it continues to impact that region. Now as we work our way farther south we've got another weather system that we've got to watch Tropical Storm Sandra which could become a hurricane by Wednesday morning that's going to lift to the northwest and then eventually recurve back to the northeast this is going to bring a tremendous amount of moisture in the atmosphere bringing what we call precipitable water values about 300 percent of where we normally are for this time of the year so what does that mean these two systems are going to combine to bring us some very heavy rain Thursday throughout Saturday and possibly lasting into Sunday morning as well. And so as far as the rainfall is concerned, this is what we're looking at here with our future track over the next 72 hours. So rain chances will return as early as Wednesday. That's why we kind of got a pause. I think there will be a few light showers. We're not talking about much though, a hundredth to maybe two hundredths of an inch. Now watch what happens on Thanksgiving afternoon. Here's this massive weather system rolling in, but you will notice that a wintry mix of sleet and freezing rain remains well to our northwest. So we've got the sleet and freezing rain that will be falling in central Kansas as a very strong cold front begins to push in from the northwest. Now this front is going to remain to our north uh, throughout the duration of this event as it looks like, but heavy rain starts to develop as you will notice across northeastern Oklahoma as well as northwest Arkansas, southeastern Oklahoma, and this will continue to translate eastward. Later on that cold front will drop a little bit farther south so if you're traveling to western and northwestern Oklahoma the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles this unfortunately will be trouble as far as your travel is concerned. Now uh, as you make it into central Oklahoma it's going to be very close but borderline above freezing. That freezing line really doesn't move much so it looks like all rain across northwest Arkansas however the rain amounts will be heavy and all of the computer models are showing rain we're going to go with a 100 percent chance of rain for your uh, Thursday and into Friday but the rain chances really crank up. So that was one computer model showing over two inches here's another one which could be a worst case scenario and if this happens, folks, this is going to lead to some significant flooding. This is what we call the Global Forecasting System, also known as the GFS. Of course, these totals and amounts will change, but the bottom line is all of the computer models are showing extremely heavy rain coming in. And I believe it with uh, Tropical Storm Santa and the remnants of that by the end of the week and into the weekend, combined with a very large, very slow-moving low-pressure system on the West Coast. Look at the six inches of rain according to uh, the NAM. This is the uh, North American model. And then we've got on the European model, five inches in Fort Smith. So anywhere from three to five inches, a good bet. So we are looking at some extremely heavy rain. We want you to connect with us as we approach the Thanksgiving holiday weekend because these amounts will change. Uh, you can reach us on my Facebook page, Meteorologist Dan Scoff. Download the NWA Weather Authority app. Also, we've got on Instagram Weather Dan as well as Twitter and on YouTube where this video will be posted. So, uh, it looks like some heavy rain and flooding, and I bet you a flash flood watch will be issued as early as Wednesday afternoon. The heaviest rain will be from Thursday night throughout Friday evening. Razorback game is looking like a soaker. Temperatures will be dropping into the mid and upper 30s by the afternoon on Friday for Black Friday, and the heavy rain continues to come down as another wave moves in on Saturday and into Sunday morning. So this is going to be a major headline maker as far as flash flooding is concerned. So keep it here with your weather authority for the latest weather information.